Yo, what's going on, you guys? Gomes here, and we are back once again on the MLB The Show 16 Diamond Dynasty Pack Openings. Today, as you might have saw the last video, we opened up some new packs. They were the June Player of the Month packs. As always, the Player of the Month packs are released one month after. So, we opened those. We got pretty much shit. We didn't... We pulled one gold, and it was literally the worst gold you can pull in the game. So today, I am back with a 20 standard pack box, and we'll open up even more later after this. But, apparently I found out on Twitter, they released pretty much all previous flashbacks into packs, and people were just ripping them like crazy in the standard packs. Now, if you guys do hear the audio once again... I do apologize for having to use uh, a postcom for a pack opening. Didn't really want it to work like this, but you know, it is what it is. Like I said, my new mic should be here either on Tuesday or Wednesday as we pull a gold sponsorship there. Goes for a couple hundred stubs, that's great as we get a Joe Blant right there. But once again, my apologies for having a postcom pack opening. I thought that my audio was recording when I was um, doing this pack opening, but apparently it was not. However, as you guys will find out, this pack opening went a lot better than my previous couple pack openings ever since I pulled that 99 Wayno. But keep ripping into the standard packs as we do get another silver right there. Kyle Schwarber. Very unfortunate that he did get hurt so soon for the Chicago Cubs. I mean, honestly, think of what their team could be. I mean, they're already one of the best teams in baseball. I know the Giants and Rangers overtook them, even though the Rangers got smacked by the worst team in baseball, the Minnesota Twins. I mean, think of how good the Cubs could be if Jason Hayward could hit. You know, if they had Schwarber and Dexter Fowler playing and not injured, they would be a force to be reckoned with. However... I don't think that the Cubs will win the World Series as a nice pull right there. Brian McCann, one of the better silver players that you can pull, is still trucking along. In these standard packs, not really getting any heat so far. Ten packs remaining. And we still haven't even pulled a gold yet, but like I was saying, my World Series predictions are actually going to be Giants or Red Sox. Right now, that is currently what I'm thinking. We, we were not doing very good in this pack opening, had to try to change it up. We do see a gold player, 85 overall, and it's an 85 Kyle Seeger. Once again, it's one of the cheaper goals. I believe he goes for maybe like 2,000 steps, I think it was. And oh, baby, damn! A flashback player, just like I was saying. Who is it going to be? 91 overall flashback, Victor Martinez. He goes for actually about 35k. I was very hyped when I pulled that. I mean, by the amount of stubs that he goes for, he's actually pretty much a diamond, which I will put him into my starting lineup. You guys will say a, deb a debut game from Victor Martinez. But that's pretty much our only good pull so far. I mean, I really would have liked, because like a lot of people are pulling crazy flashbacks. Like, I'm not too sure if this is real. But I saw somebody pull a 99 overall Seattle Mariners, Alex Rodriguez, probably the most expensive card in the game. You know, you can make a debate for the new charts of the Whiskey that just came out this week or the flashback for Guel Cabrera, but he is an insane card. Somebody pulled him on mobile. I saw MLB The Show Tips retweet it, and I... <laughs> I really don't know what to think about it. I'm not too sure. I It's got to be legit. I mean, I do think it is legit. He showed that item quantity. He did have one. Now, whether he already had that card or not is up for debate. But if he pulled that card, oh my god. That would be the craziest reaction if I was opening packs. And all of a sudden, I just see a 99 flashback A-Rod. Like I said, probably the most expensive card in the game. Just fly out of my packs, but last pack in the bundle. We already pulled a pretty good card and made our stubs back. And 
a Lou Gregerson, nothing really in that. But we did get that 91 Victor Martinez. Very good pull. And right here, we're going to jump into a 10 standard pack box. Just because I thought, you know, I have some extra stubs. I know I could get some more diamonds, but I had already bought many Machado that day. And already pulling Victor Martinez, I mean, I already paid back all my stubs that I bought. So... Why not rip another bundle? This is only a 10-pack bundle, unlike the 20 I did earlier. But, you know, let's see if... Let's test the waters once again. Maybe we can pull something even better than that 91 Victor Martinez that, like I said, has diamond value. He's just a great hitter. You know, Victor Martinez, not really fast. I think he has, like, 20-some speed. Definitely better than the live series that I think has 11. But, he's a great hitter, not the best fielder, but he is going to start over Jonathan Lucroy. Those two first packs in the bundle. Nothing really going so far. Going to back out, try to get back into it. And there we go, a diamond pull. 94 overall, who is it going to be? Hoping for big money, no whammies, and, 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 94 Chris Sale. I had always wanted this card. I was looking for a diamond pitcher just like a week before this, and I decided on Max Scherzer. I was really looking at Chris Sale, but I had I already had the rookie Chris Sale that I really liked to use out of the bullpen, but, you know, fuck that. I'm now going to keep him. I kept uh, Victor Martinez as we pull another gold sponsorship. Jeff Locke, not too bad, but... I kept Victor Martinez and Chris Sale on the team. So my next gameplay, which should be coming out either Monday or Tuesday, I have a lot of debuts. I possibly know a center guard, Chris Sale. I have Victor Martinez, and I have Manny Machado. And I also just got 95 Jonathan Papelbon. So five new... Oh, Victor Martinez is not a diamond player technically. But if you ask me, it's pretty much a diamond. So a lot of new cards to debut on the channel. I'm very excited to show you guys that. Try to back out. You know, by no means is this bundle over. Three more packs still to go. Can we pull another diamond? Can we pull more flashbacks? I even saw someone pull a Ryan Howard rookie card. Not even up on the market. I've hardly ever seen the card. And I believe it does have missions to unlock. The 94 Ryan Howard, one of the best power hitters in the game. And even he has like 84 and 77 contact. That is not bad by any means. Last pack. Last pack, cheese. Can we get it? Can we get some luck in the last pack? Comment, comment, comment. Marcelo Zuna. And a silver sponsorship and equipment. So, pack opening was pretty good all in all as we are going to try one more position player pack I mean hell 1.5k stubs what the fuck is the purpose to you know just hold on to that if you guys watch my Adam Wainwright pack opening I did pull a diamond at the end with the same pack and we can't do it this time even though we do pull a gold bat that's not horrible you know that still goes for just around 1000 stubs but all in all <laughs> It was a lot better pack opening than my last few. I know when the Felix Hernandez and Carlos Gonzalez, I believe those were the defense wins championship packs. I didn't pull anything out of Lowe's and I didn't pull anything out of the new packs. As you see, Chris Sale did end up going for 35,000 stubs. Like I said, I kept him on the team. He is now my third diamond I pulled. I pulled Chris Sale. Miguel Cabrera and 99 Adam Wainwright but like I said Chris Sale is still going to be on the team obviously I did sell Miguel Cabrera not on the team anymore but oh no like I said good pack opening I doubled my stubs I think technically even though not going to get anything back out of it as I kept the players 91 Victor Martinez and 94 Chris Sale but if you guys did enjoy the video and want to see more pack openings in the future, make sure to leave a like down below. And later, guys, comes out.